Good evening and thanks for watching WRTV News at 6 on this Thursday evening. I'm Mark Mullins. And I'm Amanda Starantino. First tonight, an Indianapolis nurse survives COVID-19 after getting a double lung transplant. She's one of the few to undergo such a surgery from the virus. WRTV Stephanie Wade shares this extremely powerful story you need to hear. It has been quite a journey for Carrie Wegg. She has worked tirelessly as a NICU nurse for 25 years at St. Vincent Hospital when she found herself fighting for her own life with COVID-19 in that very same hospital. It's devastating. I never thought something like this could happen to me. It's been so hard because I was healthy and I thought if I ever got it, I will be fine. Carrie Wegg first got sick in June, diagnosed with pneumonia. Then in July, she, her husband and two children tested positive for the coronavirus. I do work in a hospital and my husband also works in a hospital. It's very possible we got it from the hospital. Her family had mild symptoms and recovered quickly, while Wegg, on the other hand, did not. It's been since July since I've seen my boys. And I haven't been able to hug them or love on them. And they miss me so much. Put on an echo machine, heart and lung bypass, and not improving for over a month. On August 19th, she says doctors discussed removing care. Their dad had to sit down and tell them their mother might die. And they've had to try and cope with that. But she says her husband wouldn't give up. Calls were made and she was transferred to Northwestern Memorial Hospital in Chicago on September 5th for a double lung transplant. Northwestern was the first to do a COVID-19 double lung transplant in the country. And Wegg was only the sixth survivor to undergo the surgery. I'm eternally grateful to the family of my donor. I don't know anything about them or how they died, but they give me the gift of life. Grateful to be alive, but devastated financially with nonstop medical bills. She suffers in her bed while her fellow healthcare workers continue the fight. One of my co-workers got it and she died. She died. Praying people see this story and take this virus seriously. I'm hoping my message as a nurse who didn't expect any of this can get out there and bring it home to people who don't necessarily want to wear masks or want to isolate themselves or quarantine. This is real. Stephanie Wade, WRTV. A GoFundMe fundraiser was started on Wegg's behalf by her sister to help cover the mounting medical costs. We will put up a link to the GoFundMe page on our website at WRTV.com.